Hey guys, before you buy the Insta360 ONE X2, you need to make sure that you have a smartphone that supports their application. If your phone does not support the application, you won't be able to use this camera. Keep that in mind. So if you look in the video description, and I will also write somewhere here, uh, the information about which smartphones support uh, this camera application. Now, if you don't have one of these smartphones, then it's not a problem. You can actually borrow one of your friend's phone, which does support, because you just need that smartphone for the activation for the first time. Once the camera is being activated through the app, then you can use the camera standalone, independently, right? And also, if you want to edit those videos, you can actually edit them through your desktop or your laptop instead of using any mobile application. Okay, so for the first time, just for the installation and for the activation, you need to have the smartphone that supports the app. All right, so now I'll show you how to activate the camera. Once the camera is out of the box, the first thing that we need to do is charge the battery. Okay, so if you see the uh, left side or the right side, depending on which lens you're looking at, okay, you will find a small door. So just click and um, just push it to open that door it's a little hard in the first time okay so once it comes out it'll basically be hanging out there you can also remove this if you want to just keep that port open but keep in mind if you open this port uh, the camera is not waterproof at this point of time so if you're just taking it for inside the water you need to make sure that you close this door in the box you also get this USB cable so we need to connect the USB type C cable here and for charging this camera you have to use a power source that can deliver you 5 volt and 2 amps output okay so fortunately i have my samsung uh, smartphones charger which actually gives the 5 volt and 2 amps uh, power supply now that your camera is fully charged it is not yet ready to be used we need to first connect it to the insta360 mobile application and register the camera Okay, so let's open the phone and we will do the registration process now. All right guys, so now go to your Play Store and search for Insta360 ONE X2. Okay, so that should bring in the app. Okay, so click install. All right, the app is being installed now. Let's go ahead and open it. All right, so I'm gonna hit agree. Uh, it's gonna say that it's gonna manage the um, calls. I have no idea why that is for. Anyways, uh, it wants the location information, allow only while using the app, that is fine. Uh, it needs storage space because it has to copy files and stuff like that. That is also fine. Okay, so the app is installed and next thing that we want to do is we want to connect uh, the phone with the app. With a few seconds of uh, standby mode, it is ask actually asking, do you have an Insta360 camera or not? So I'm going to hit yes here because I have one just with me. Okay, and it gives me the information um, about what to do. It says, please turn on the Bluetooth and uh, return the app. Uh, once connected okay please give the app permission to obtain your location which i have already done uh please give the app permission to obtain your location so well it's the same thing so uh, i'm just going to read the instructions that we have uh, in the quick start guide okay so uh, it says to connect via wi-fi first turn on the wi-fi and bluetooth on your mobile device okay so that is done wi-fi and bluetooth both are on now we have to turn on the uh, camera okay so here's the power button so i'm going to just press it once okay that's a sound okay and then yeah there you go so it says it's turned on and i can actually see the different areas as well which is good okay so let's just keep it right here i'm just gonna Close this for now. Um, there it is, camera icon down at the bottom. So let's click that. Okay, it says, um, I'm gonna take this on. Let's say, oh, location is off, that's why. 
so let me turn on the location and it's actually searching for the camera that is good and it says yes uh, 1x2 that's quite easy <laughs> okay it's it found the camera uh, now I'm gonna say connect uh, the camera okay good so it says Bluetooth connection and confirm the camera so here uh, it shows uh, connect to phone connect the camera to the phone I'm gonna say yes oh the touch is very nice easy okay good so camera found connect Wi-Fi okay so Bluetooth is connected already now it's connecting the Wi-Fi all right device used to okay good that's the Wi-Fi connection connection successful cool uh, do you want to activate the camera yes confirm it says activated quick okay so confirm connected done all right so i think that's it so the activation is done uh let me see if i can just click on this once again it should yes there you go so now i'm actually controlling the um yes i'm actually controlling the uh camera through the mobile application so we have all these different options like um 360 i think that's probably wide view okay <laughs> i don't have the oh it's actually see, showing all the 360 degree content here wow um i can also go for the 150 degree view so that it just chooses one of the um lens so either it's the front or the back i can just switch between them so this would be the back um Let's take some time anyway so yeah that's me uh, ignore the mess that is in the back that's fine so everything seems to be working so now <laughs> we'll have to test the camera I'm gonna take it out uh, for uh, shooting some videos still pictures so see you in the next one bye bye uh -huh.